My name is Dorota Skowrowska Krawczyk. I'm a researcher at uh, Viterbi Family Department of uh, Ophthalmology at UC San Diego. And I'm a part of the faculty at the Shiley Eye Institute. This is an amazing honor um, for two um, reasons. Uh, first of all, Glaucoma Research Foundation is uh, really aimed to um, help patients and to fund translational research that can be brought to clinic. And I think it's an amazing honor for, uh, to that my work was recognized uh, this way uh, because it, this was exactly what I wanted in this project. The fact that it was recognized makes me um, think that I'm going the right direction, gives me additional motivation, and basically I take it as an um, um, obligation to continue this way. Um, on the personal level, it's also my first prize ever, <laughs> this, um, and um, I'm extremely happy, and I hope um, this uh, will just um, show that I'm very much committed, and it will show in the future that it was the right choice for the Foundation. In our work, uh, we were trying to uh, understand why cells die in the retina even after elevating the interocular pressure. And in short, what we have shown that if we remove the first six cells, which we call them senescent cells because of the mechanism of how they uh, are sick, uh, if we remove the first uh, senescent cells in the retina, we can actually protect the others which were not yet affected by the disease. Um, this um, has a potentially quite important um, uh, meaning for the clinic because if we recognize very early the disease and we can remove the very first uh, cells that are already becoming, uh, already becoming senescent, uh, we may be able to protect the retina and vision. Yes, our studies are um, applicable for um, the cases where uh, the loss of vision is still uh, happening even after uh, treatment with the drugs lowering the IOP. And in this sense, it has a, quite an important uh, possibility to be combined with other therapies. Also, we have to remember about the um, non-tension glaucoma and other type of glaucomas, which are almost non-treatable. So our work now is trying to find out whether the same mechanism applies to our uh, type of glaucomas. Um, it was, uh, to start in the glaucoma research, it was basically a decision. Uh, my decision, um, uh, scientific decision. I was for many years involved in um, studying development of retina, development of retinal ganglion cells themselves. And it, it is a very fascinating project and fascinating subject. And as you know, it's very important for retina regeneration and so on. Uh, but at a certain point, I understood that my background in the transcription regulation, gene expression, and really molecular mechanisms uh, could be uh, used uh, in, uh, um, in a very um, important way. I actually think it's very important to apply um, basic research into the translational uh, approaches. So it was basically a decision. I um, recognized that there is a need. I recognized that there is an opportunity. I started to collaborating with uh, some colleagues. And um, yes, and this is how I started to be involved in glaucoma. I decided to be a researcher um, when I was 10 years old. That was my first job I remember ever. <laughs> I always wanted to be a scientist. I loved biology, I loved genetics, and um, I developed uh, then a very um, uh, um, huge interest in molecular biology. And basically, with time, it only was a question uh, what I will focus on and where, where I will study, where I will, what I will do. I always knew I wanted to be a researcher. I will not over exaggerate if I say that this grant uh, from Glaucoma Research Foundation was basically instrumental for these studies. It was my first grant um, and it allowed me basically to start uh, certain uh, studies, certain part of the studies which um, otherwise I wouldn't have funds. Um, also, it allowed me to put one of my postdocs partially on this project so um, she could actually uh, continue working. I am um, extremely grateful to Glaucoma Research Foundation. It gave me the push, it gave me motivation and of course funds. And as an outcome, uh, the paper has been published uh, uh, basically 
in the February issue of Aging Cell um, based on the um, proposal that I submitted two years ago. I'm absolutely so happy. It's really amazing. And then in the meantime, I got to know about this prize, which was like, it's just like publication already itself is a prize. So this kind of recognition, I take it as a, a more like a credit uh, for a future. I will try to do my best. <laughs>